So in this video, I'm going to talk about nucleophiles. And essentially, generally, nucleophiles have an excess of electrons. And that usually means it has a lone pair. Um, and so as a result, they are either negatively charged or neutral. So nucleophiles can be negatively charged and those will be the easy ones to spot or neutral and the neutral nucleophiles are a little harder to spot and so when you have a solvent that is also the nucleophile, it's called solvolysis. So, solvent is nucleophile. That is called solvolysis. And so now we're going to distinguish the difference between basicity and nucleophilicity. And so they are really, really similar, but slightly different. So nucleophilicity correlates with basicity, but they are different properties. And so we'll talk about this right now. So essentially for basicity, Whoops, I can't spell. Basicity. The reaction would look something like this. You have a base represented by B with a negative charge on it. This attacks a hydrogen bonded to an A, which designates the acid. And so it takes this hydrogen, and then that's in equilibrium with the whole thing down here. I'm going to draw it down here. So I'll separate those two. And so that's in equilibrium with BH and A minus. So that represents basicity. Nucleophilicity is a little different. So nucleo Felicity. And so what that is, is essentially a nucleophile represented by NU. It could have a minus or it couldn't, or it doesn't have to, I mean. Bonded to a carbon, and those coming off of it are whatever. And remember, the X is a halogen. And so the nucleophile is going to come in, attack that carbon, And this carbon right here is the electrophile. And remember, nucleophile always attacks electrophile. And so this halogen is going to leave. And it then creates, notice how this is a reaction arrow. There's no equilibrium. That's the key difference right here between these two. And so you get a nucleophile bonded to the carbon with three things, as well as the halogen with a negative charge on it. And the halogen is stable like that because halogens generally like to have um, a negative charge on them versus some nucleophiles. So the point is... The nucleophile reacts with a carbon while the base reacts with a hydrogen. So that's the difference. That's the main difference. And so let me write that. Reacts. So base reacts with hydrogen. Well, down here in nucleophilicity, nucleophile. 
reacts with the carbon. And though, so that pretty much sums it up for nucleophilicity, and we talked about nucleophilicity versus basicity. They're really, they're like correlated. Generally, you have a negative thing attacking a neutral thing, but they're slightly different. As you can see, a base reacts with a hydrogen, while a nucleophile reacts with a carbon. And so these two processes are slightly different, so to speak. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.